When it comes to your business, you're doing a lot of the same things over and over and over again. That's where a great template comes in. Click on workspace settings and then templates. We offer templates for agreements, projects, emails, and invoices. Let's start with projects. Going into projects, you can create as many or as few project templates as possible. So when you do a project over and over again for different clients, you'll want to create a project template. And you can include in your project template each of the tasks that goes along with that template, as well as add a timeline. So uh, if you always do an initial discovery call, add your descriptions, you can even pre-assign this. If you're always working with the same contractor, you can even pre-assign it to the right person when uh, this project is used. And you can set up rolling due dates. So whenever this project is created, whether that's by an agreement or in project management, uh, you can uh, have a rolling due date. It'll be due this number of days, weeks, or months after uh, this project is created. So that's where you can add your uh, projects along with tasks, and you can add subtasks here as well. So a true project template, it'll also come with uh, your uh, pricing. So however you choose to bill, uh, you can add that to your project template as well. And absolutely, you're going to add that to your project template because you don't work for free, even though because you know that the free and freelancing is not for free. So uh, to create a new project template, you can click the plus button here and add in your project package settings. Uh, you can also go to an existing project and within that project, you can uh, choose to create that into a template. I'll show you how that works here in just a minute. I blame a slow computer here with too many tabs open. Don't we all have that? If you go into a project here, you can see uh, you can pull up a, uh, this is a client, so you can see my project here. I'll click on edit and you can see in your project settings, you can click save project as a template. Okay, back to other templates that we have. So here in our templates, now we have agreements as well. So uh, you'll click the plus button here to create a new template. You can also do that from an existing agreement, the same way you do with projects. Uh, you'll click on edit if you have created one or a new one. Uh, I'll show you kind of what this one looks like already. So uh, in your project template, you'll give it a name. You can add in an image and update how this looks alongside your logo as well. Uh, you'll add in your template. Uh, text, uh, or you can remove these text blocks. And then you'll want to add in also your project blocks. Now, because you have already created a project template, you'll be able to pull any of those templates that you have already created into your agreement template as well. So a one-time thing that you create uh, with a project, you can create just one time your agreement template as well. You can include your legal terms here, and you can also choose to add an integrated payment. So you you can integrate a payment into your agreement template, and that way, every time you use this agreement, it's going to require payment at the time that they sign your agreement. So add anything that you would uh, to a normal agreement into your template here, including signatures and, again, legal language, and you can hit save. Anytime you're ready to use this, you'll click use it and you'll add it to a client because without a client, then there's no reason to have an agreement if there's no one you're agreeing with. So uh, here I'll show you an example. Go into any agreement and you can click these three dots to create that into a template as well. Heading back into templates, uh, we have your email templates. Uh, you'll use these all over the place. We'll go into deeper depth in a video here in our help center. Click this question mark uh, to see our knowledge base and also our help center as well uh, to go into more depth on emails specifically and where you can use these. But all of your email templates, uh, you can use these tokens. That's going to help you be able to create a template that also is personalized. So these are your email templates and there are all kinds of places you can use uh, this email template with, including your invoicing, inboxes. Uh, you can use it in your workflow automations, lots of ways to create email templates. If you find yourself writing the same email over and over again, add it as a template for use later. 
Finally, we have our invoices. So if you want a little more control about what your invoices look like, you can create an invoice template. So you'll click the plus button here and you'll see you'll be able to add all kinds of content. So here is your layout. So you can add a container. This is going to allow you to have control over how wide each element is in your, uh, in your agreement. And then pretty standard here, we've got vertical spacing and a divider. These are also relatively self-explanatory. We've got your image and text. This is your logo. Um, the main difference between an image and your logo is if you update your logo in your account, like you do a rebrand, uh, you just have to update it in one place and then it will update in all of your templates as well. You can also use file attachments if you want to be able to attach a file to your uh, invoices as well. But the best, the uh, cream of the crop part of this is these line items. So you can decide which line items you want to use. This is all sample data. So uh, you can choose if uh, what columns you want to be visible. So if you are just going to bill kind of on a standard fixed price, you don't need to show the quantity. And no tax because you don't have a taxable amount. Uh, if you are in, uh, showing uh, an hourly rate and you want to make sure that you can show uh, all of the details, you can enable detailed time entries. You can see the difference here. Uh, this is showing you the date and project and any notes that you've entered, or you can simply show the hours worked and at what rate and allow Moxie to do the calculations here for you. Lots of other options for you to show uh, the uh, this in your style with your fonts and colors. Uh, you can also change these labels. So if if you have uh, verbiage that you typically use with your clients, you can also update any of these labels here and change them here as well. And then you'll want to set this up as your default template. So then as soon as you create a new invoice template, it will use your default template that you've created. If you have other questions about invoicing specifically or about um, templates or anything else, you could always get more help here at our question mark uh, with the uh, in our knowledge base and our help center.